According to the CDC, 10,000 people in the United States are killed each year due to drunk driving accidents. In today's Connecticut Families Report, News 8 Sarah Cody introduces us to an Ansonia mother with an innovative solution. I was more than devastated. When Lakeisha Steins was just nine years old, she lost the woman she called her second mother to a tragic accident. Was, she was basically walking and a drunk driver just hit her nine months pregnant. It stuck with me for my, my whole entire life. It really stuck with me. So four years ago, she had a dream, a dream that inspired an inventive solution to the worries drivers face on the road. My product would give them an extra sense of security. This is sober touch sensoring used in the steering wheel of a car. When you get in your car and you touch those senses after drinking, it's going to calculate your blood alcohol level through the perspiration of the palm of your hands. The vehicle won't start if the driver's blood alcohol level is above the legal limit. I'm just so deeply honored. Stein's you know, idea is garnering attention. In February, she was honored by both Ansonia's Mayor David Cassetti and Senator Richard Blumenthal. I'm so glad that I have him backing me. She credits her success with teaming up with the right engineer and design studio. People just been taking me to the next level, helping me uh, to get to where I need to be because they believe in what I'm doing. This mother and grandmother aims to right wrongs with her innovation. She knows Sabrina, her dear friend, would approve. She is so excited in spirit about what I'm doing, you know, and I know she is smiling. I know she is smiling. I know she's like, go get them. Steins hopes to see her idea put into practice, installed into actual cars by the end of 2019. With Connecticut family Sarah Cody, News 8.